Skinny. 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 Killing you. <laughs> skinny. But it's a ripper. Let's go see how it works. Well, oh my goodness. Oh my freaking goodness. Friends, I, I, I'm, I'm quite excited and I don't know what it is. I, I don't know what it is. I think it's the change of season coming. Like it's cooler, friends, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. My wife, she hears me screaming in here sometimes, just wondering what I'm doing. She knows what I'm doing because she knows we're doing this, but they laugh at me. My family laughs at me. And it's for you guys <laughs> and us. Anyways, uh, friends, it's good to have you here. I'm glad you're here. Welcome to the newcomers. Welcome to Buck and Billy Ray Smith's YouTube channel. So let's get on with this next thing. I want to talk to you about something, friends, and it's skinny axe handles. Friends, this handle's skinny. I mean, like, it's skinny. Not so much up here, it's nice up here, but it gets really skinny right here, okay? And so what you should look for more so in a thin handle is defect, which would be run out, perhaps where heartwood and sapwood meet, a brown line meeting a white line. Be careful for stuff like that. This is heartwood, this handle. Which, I mean, it would be better if it was sapwood, but this is pretty straight up and down grain. Um, I don't really see a lot. There is some run out on the side of the handle, on the side. But our forces on this handle are not this way. They're this way, right? Yes, indeed they are. So this is quite a thin handle. But this axe head is an HB old school Tasmanian pattern that I'm gonna make a freaking ax out of and I'm gonna swing the panaches, canaches, corali tan patches out of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat upon it. Now, excuse me, I happen to do that outside already. It feels skinnier than what I'm used to even. It's because it's a long handle. It's a long whippy handle. It's only 33 inches, but it feels longer. Look at this, friends. Look at, it's rocking a sock, baby. Right there, that is right out at the tip. All the inertia, all the damage is being done right out at the tip. Not in here, not down there, right there. So, friends, I got to be honest. This is going to be a test of this handle. But I want to show people that, because, friends, I swing an axe. I, I swing an axe hard. And I probably do different tweaks and twerks than, than maybe some other folks do. So, I'm a good guy to test a handle out. This this needs help. This axe head needs help. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, I don't want, this would actually even be harder on the head if I didn't fix what I'm about to show you. And we're going to get out the grinder and we're going to build an axe today. I want to show you something. See the speed bump? Look at it, friends. Look at the, look at the freaking profile. This is a gorgeous axe, friends. It's an old HB. Okay, look at You'll just see the circle, the little bit of circle, right? See it there? The HB, can you see the little bit of circle right there? It's tough to see. I'm going to show you though, because it's HB. It's right there. It's right there. See it? This is an H, and I love it. I'm, I'm going to tell you right freaking now. I got another one right here. I'll show you. Look at friends. HB, right there. Same ordeal. A little higher on top. Oh, would you look at that? There's another one. <laughs> oh, dear. These things are freaking beautiful. But they don't have the proper geometry. They just don't. I'm about to make this axe, and I'm going to show you. We're going to do this together. Watch. Let's go. I want to show you is all something. Come on. Let's go for it. Let's put that there. Let's take this off of here and let's talk about profile and nation. Okay. Let's see if I've got the shaklank, shaklank. Let's go. I want to show you guys something. My axes, when I build an axe, I cannot have what I'm about to show you happen. Think about, think about how much more force it would take and how much more force it exerts 
on a handle when when your axe does this. And I'm about to show you what I mean by this. One that I that I just showed you, friends. Can you like like look? It's just it's not gonna happen. I just trust me, but you need to see this for your own eyes. Here's a skinny one. See that? First drop, I knew it. Now, whoa, that's wicked. Okay, but let's look at this and I wanna show you. Here, this is what I'm talking about, friends, okay? You see what I'm talking about? Okay, let's go back in. Now, think about the force on the handle. Say we use that skinny one. I got some wicked axes, friends, right now. I bought a bunch out of, actually, Maka helped me find them. And so did my buddy, Marco. Marco, my friends from Australia. Okay, let's put this back on the stand. Put you guys back on the stand. Watch this magic. Before we do that, so this is gonna be an amazing wedge banger, this little sucker right here. Let me tell you that right now. But, so here's these two axes. I showed you guys these axes. You know, I can't freaking wait to make this axe. This one is interesting. I think it's a German axe. I'm not exactly sure, but it is beautiful nonetheless. But it's a chopper, friends. It's very thin. It does thicken out, but that is very interesting. That is a thin axe. Almost looks like it's had some trauma. So let's let's look at something. Just again, so we can get on the same page with one another. Look at. You, you see what I'm coming from? Look at the bottom one, friends. You see, look at the huge speed bump compared to this guy, right? Look at that one on top. That's that one that's stuck in the wood. This one did not. We're gonna change this, friends, okay? Look. Look at that huge speed bump. It's crazy, actually. Okay, see? Let's fix it. I'm hoping you can you can see you can yeah you yeah, so you can see the edge it's untouched there's only a couple spots and it's usually here and there but here we're good see it, it it's you know what I mean friends so I, I've been off it the whole time look very closely look very closely look okay I am I am I'm really really excited about this friends Look, look at this. Friends, okay, look. Look at that. What did you do? Did you give me a gift? Oh, he did the, oh, look at this, a hatchet. Oh, look at this guy. Council tool. You know, Brandon, look at this. Council tool. Well, I'll tell you something right now. This is an ax company. Oh, what's this now? Oh, this looks. I'd swing it. Ah, he's got I'd swing it on there. Okay, here's a couple. Here's a couple. Uh, I love Whiskey River handles. I've had some of my best handles from Whiskey River, Killinger, absolutely, Beaver Tooth. Uh, I haven't used Beaver Tooth in, in quite a while. Um, 
Oh, look at this one. Oh, oh my goodness. This is straight up and down grain. Yeah, you can't, you can't. <laughs> oh. So what we're gonna do is me and Brandon, Brandon's a nice guy. He, he uh, Brandon, thanks brother. He listens to what I say. Like friends, there's a full eye on, a, on, a, on an ax. So ax handle makers, please listen to me. A full size eye on an ax is like, just go two and a half up here. Just, just go two and a half on a full size eye. It covers all your bases. If a guy can't take a little sliver off there with a draw knife to half his ax, we have a problem, Houston. Come on, fellas. Uh, you're never gonna get one exactly right on. Um, these are these are nice. I like my axe handles to get for, to go from here to here, but get a little teeny bit bigger this way here and this way. It's just it just makes sense. Ah, uh, so these are nice. They're very nice. So I've got one, two, three. Oh, B right there. Okay, you did. Okay. Aha, I see. You got, I'd swing it on there. Okay, I see what you mean. Oh, freaking heck yeah. Me too, Brandon. Me too, buddy. I'll bet you that would be Whiskey River Trading. Oh, look at the old school. Whiskey River Trading. Hey, listen, I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now what's going on for me, uh, for who I like to do business with. And if you come uh, doing business with me, it's very simple. You have a nice product and you uh, deliver when you deliver. That makes uh, the business good for me and for you because I will come to say and buy some more things from you. Stay weird. Okay, I will, Brandon. Okay, you know what we need to do? We need to do something. There you son of a... Look at this little... What you have? Well, ooh, that's very interesting. Oh, look at that. Well, I'll be darned. A little micro bevel on there. Look at that sucker right there. Ah, yes, I like it. Okay, here we go. Here we go! Who'd that remind you of? You know, I should almost invest in some of that stuff. My axes are getting pretty freaking sharp, and that is that is just a great idea. I like it. What are we supposed to do with this, Brandon? Oh, nice and straight on the handle, brother. Right up and straight up and down. It, it's... buddy son of a gun dirty rotten sucking son of a gun and dirty rotten stocking dirty rotten sucking son of a gun and dirty rotten stocking dirty rotten sucking dirty rotten stocking <laughs>
Oh dear. <laughs> sure. Okay, so there's our finished kind of our product. I still got it. There's it's still a strong edge. This is a big axe. I'm not gonna skinny it down, so this one, look at it, friends. Look at the difference. This is going to be a, a, a splitting machine. Oh, look at that. I could take it down a little bit more, friends, like I could. You know what I mean? But I just, I don't really want to. It's such a nice axe. It doesn't have a really thick profile here. I think this is going to be an amazing wood splitter. I do. But I don't want to make it too skinny out the end, this one. Okay, that's it. This is going to be actually quite interesting. This is a skinny little wedge. Wow. <laughs> it doesn't need much though. You really got to pick your wedges, friends. Like, it, it's, I'm not kidding you. This is going to be a beautiful axe, but it is going to have to be run by a true axeman who knows what he's doing. Okay, that was actually very interesting, friends. I, I'm, I'm actually happy that that went, that went the way it did. I'm very happy with that fit. Friends, there's nothing left to do except go beat the schnucknocknas out of it. Oh dear. The HB. Tasmanian pattern on a freaking skinny, skinny, skinny killing your handle. <laughs> it's skinny. But it's a ripper. Let's go see how it works. Friends, two axes, Tassie pattern. One's an HB that I just put a crazy edge on it. That one's haven't touched it yet. Just a nice haft, beautiful axe. Um, but the difference here is the, here, the, this, this edge here. Okay. And this. You see how thick that is right there on the, right there in a dead square in the front. Look at this. You see it, don't you? You see the difference, don't you? Skinny, very skinny, like, like skinny, skinny, skinny little handle. Tree here, so, so friends, this axe, it does, it does things that, that we want it to. It sticks, uh, now whether it does this, this trick, you, you have to hit it a little bit harder with, yeah, see, I can tell and I know why. Because of the way I ground it. it it'll stick. Like, it will stick, you see? It, it does, but you have to go about it differently. 
you have to hit it the right way with this axe, you see? It, it, it acts differently, like, you see? It, it does do that. But for some reason, it grabs in the middle. Yeah, like that. See, it, it does work. It's quite nice, actually. So you, you learn your axe. But anyways, friends, this Yeah. This axe is, uh, is on a skinny handle. There, there's no two freaking ways about it. And you want to be careful with this one, doing any side swinging. Like, what I mean by that is side, like, uh, loading it like this. You'll bust it right now. You'll bust it. It's not that kind of axe. It's just not. So, if you try that, you could break it. It's lovely. <laughs> it is. It's lovely. Yep. That is really stringy wood. Like, that's not even. You see what I mean? so stringy that the flick the flick doesn't really help you you got to slice right through it and this thing is this is lovely it's got a beautiful edge on it see that amazing what an axe what an axe Back. Friends, had a couple things I had to remember a couple of videos ago on that so power saw that you're looking at right there? That 142, we thought it might be the back condenser. Find out next video if that was the problem or not. This thing's been giving me a little bit of a run around. I'll catch you guys on the next video. And thanks so much for watching my stuff. Works. The rains are here. We're going to be cutting real soon. Over and out, friends. Be kind.